Hi, this is Bob Ray for freetennislessons.net. I'm going to try to show you how to string a tennis racket using a two-point vise. It's an Ectalon stringing machine. And the racket we're going to use uh, requires a two-point, two-piece uh, str uh, strings. The the choices are um, one piece or two piece, sometimes referred to as two knot or four knot. Now, the reason you do a four knot rather than a two knot is that you never want to string a racket on the cross strings from the bottom up. So if the last mains finish at the bottom of the racket, tie off at the bottom, then you need to um, have another piece to start at the top. Um, usually you can take a set, which is 40 feet, and cut it in half. And for most rackets, that will do the, the mains, and then the other piece will do the crosses. Um, some larger headed rackets, especially those with 18 mains, um, would require that you cut the mains longer by about a, a foot or two. Um, okay, now what you're watching here is um, the start of uh, stringing. The um, the starter clamp was at the top, and I'm moving the other clamp after I pull tension on the string. Um, I chose the tension of 58 pounds. The manufacturer puts a recommended range on the racket, usually inside the throat. Um, now I didn't actually, I don't actually string most rackets at the designated tension, but instead I average the tension. The mains are going in at 56 pounds, and the crosses will go in at 60 pounds, and the average will be 58 pounds. Now there's a number of reasons why we string the the crosses tighter than the mains. For one thing, there always is a certain amount of distortion in the racket while you're pulling the mains, and the crosses need to pull that distortion back. Also, when you're stringing the crosses, there's a lot of friction between the crosses and the mains, whereas when you're pulling the mains, there is no friction of, of string against string. So when you have the friction, doing the crosses, um, it reduces what the the result is. Also, when you put in the crosses, you're actually increasing the tension of the mains as you pull because you'll see that they wiggle a little bit rather than remain absolutely straight. Um, this is going to be divided into parts um, and um, because I can't get this thing up on YouTube in its entirety, so I'm going to um, probably stop it here when we finish the mains and then start with the crosses. Um, one of the things that I didn't cover was that when you set the racket in the vise, this is the most important time of the string job. The worst thing that can happen in a string job is for you to break a racket. And if you aren't really secure in the way you put the racket in the vise, then um, you can break a racket. If, if the racket slides when you're pulling the mains or um, the, the um, vise collapses or something, you have to make sure you tighten everything down. 
that means that you don't have the TV going and, and a lot of distractions or having conversation. 